Hi, this is Austin from Griffin Armaments, and I'm going to walk you through today configuring your new Revolution 9mm sound suppressor. This uh, Revolution 9 comes in, in multi-cam molly pouch with a case spacer, and uh, it'll come configured in the full size 7.6 inch length as you see here. And if you want to shoot it in this configuration, all you need to do is uh, add Loctite to uh, these two joints here, and we'll walk you through that in a minute. Servicing of the booster piston uh, assembly can be conducted from the back, aka cleaning it, uh, replacing booster pistons, lubing the assembly, stuff like that. But everything else uh, that involves reconfiguring the suppressor or disassembling the suppressor begins with removal of the front cap. You take the included uh, washer, uh, insert it in the spokes of the front cap, crack it loose, go ahead and uh, spin the uh, front cap out of the assembly and uh, your entire uh, baffle assembly will, will come out of the tube just like that. If your baffles don't drop out like you just saw here, the next step you'll want to do is, is remove your booster piston retainer and uh, that will allow you to use a non-marring tool like a wooden dowel uh, to push the baffle stack out uh, through the booster piston housing. And basically uh, spinning the booster piston retainer will allow you to remove uh, the piston. You see the spring here and uh, you can put those components aside. Um, a tool like even a Sharpie marker can be used to push the baffles out. Uh, the reason why you want to always start assembly from the from the front of the suppressor is because these baffles have our return to zero technology, our RTZ features which uh, mean that they, they cannot uh, rotate when in assembly. And so uh, the only component that's not keyed in the assembly is the front cap. They're, they're actually keyed into the uh, external booster housing as well. And uh, so the next step of this assembly is uh, we, we can spin out our, our uh, booster piston housing and we can take uh, unscrew our booster piston external housing out of the tube. And these are these two, the two joints that you're going to want to lock tight. Uh, using either, if you're, if you're a pistol user or a light or moderate semi-automatic user, uh, you'll want to use Loctite 272 with a 450 degree uh, high strength rating. And you'll, you'll put, you'll apply Loctite liberally to these two joints seen here and uh, thread them together tightly. And then you'll want to give it an hour or uh, up to 24 hours for a full cure. If you're a subgun user and you're going to have a high volume of fire, uh, you want to use Loctite 2620 on those same two joints uh, where applicable. And uh, that of course has a 650 degree uh, thread locker. And uh, in either case, you'll need to, when you're reconfiguring the suppressor, heat uh, the stainless steel components to that temperature and use uh, a silicon glove, or something like a M60 barrel mitt, uh, to remove these com these components from the silencer uh, to uh, reconfigure. When you're applying that heat, you want to use a, a torch and, and and aim at the uh, stainless steel components and not the tube. And so you heat the stainless components; it'll work its way through the thread joint, and uh, you'll be able to remove the components and reconfigure as necessary. This external booster assembly housing is the component you're going to drop when you go to the K configuration. So you remove the internal booster housing, remove the external booster housing, set it aside, reinstall with Loctite again the internal booster housing, and uh, now your your assembly is, is ready for uh, to be configured in the K configuration. You can reinstall your booster piston and retainer and spring. And so you're going to need five baffles in the K configuration and the K spacer and you find your notches, your RTZ notches, and you make sure that all your baffles are keyed together, RTZ and uh, the shear cuts all face the same direction. And you key in the uh, K spacer, then you put the uh, tube over the assembly components, make sure they're pushed into the housing, take your uh, front cap 
and install it into the tube. And sub gun users, you could even use some uh, some lower temperature, like a 450 degree Loctite on the, on your front cap, if it uh, loosens and you're and you're shooting like a recreational sub gun class, something like that. Um, but then then you take your washer and, and tighten the front cap, and you are uh, configured in the K configuration. Now I want to cover uh, maintaining and servicing your booster housing assembly. And basically, uh, our booster pistons are compatible with Silencer Co. pistons. And at, at the present time, we, we offer them in half by 28. But if you want a different thread pitch, you'll need to grab a, uh, a, a piston from Silencer Co. Um, but basically, uh, there's an O-ring inside the, the, the retainer. And uh, it engages the, uh, the three keys on the piston. And that keeps the uh, piston uh, oscillating without rota rotating and, and crashing the little teeth into their, their uh, corresponding grooves inside the booster housing. And so the, the O-ring is an important part. And uh, servicing it is simple. Uh, you just uh, take a, a small tool like a dental pick here uh, for maintaining firearms and uh, punch it into the O-ring group, pull, pull the O-ring out, and replace the o-ring with it with a new o-ring you want to lube that with uh maybe like vaseline something like that a grease for bolt lugs on a bolt action uh, also uh servicing this thing uh probably wire brushing the the internal of the, of the piston housing uh, as it gets carboned up and uh keeping it lubed because these these teeth do uh reciprocate in close tolerance fit to the booster housing uh, but that's about all there is to uh, servicing your, your booster piston assembly. And now I want to cover reconfiguring into the uh, three lug uh, configuration. And, and uh, if you buy our kit, uh, we have a, a three lug rear cap, a, a bushing in the middle here, and a spring uh, relative to that. You just drop the spring in, uh, to insert the uh, three lug cap and piston, thread the assembly together, and uh, you now have a, a three lug configured uh, case suppressor. This, this applies also to the, uh, the full size configuration. So that wraps up our Revolution 9mm sound suppressor configuration tutorial. And uh, if you guys need any more help, uh, feel free to email me at austin at griffinarmament.com. And uh, thanks again for uh, purchasing our product. Thank <laughs> you.